Hello everyone, so direct to the point po tayo today. Paano ba ang debit and credit with business transaction analysis? So laging tandaan na sa pag-analyze ng business transactions, always consider yourself as the business. So ikaw yung business dahil ikaw yung mag-analyze ng transactions. That is always the point of view when you are analyzing a business transaction. Kapag sinabi sa business transaction, purchased or bought, ibig sabihin si business yung bumibili. Kapag sinabing sold, paid, received revenue, ibig sabihin si business, si business to lahat, si business yung nagbibenta, si business yung nagbabayad, paid. At si business yung nakatanggap ng revenue or income. Okay, so what is debit? Yung debit ito yung value na natanggap ni business. Value Value received by the business. Yun yung si debit. Ito ang una nating i-identify when we are analyzing a transaction. So, how about credit? Si credit, ito yung naging kapalit ng tanggapin ni business si debit, debit. Or, it is the value parted with. So, halimbawa, if I'll give you a calculator and you will give me a ball pen, Ano yung natanggap or ano yung debit? Tama, calculator. Debit. Calculator. How about the credit? Yes, tama, ball pen. Credit. Ball pen. That is the basic example. Okay, so let, let's have this one. Our first business transaction analysis. Bought a delivery motorcycle for cash, 250,000 pesos. Ano raw? Isa sa pinaka-mistake ng mga accounting students kapag nakabasa ng ganito, nalilito ka agad. So first of all, you need to analyze sino yung bumili ng ng delivery motorcycle tama si business paano niya binili sabi dito both delivery motorcycle for cash ano ang ibig sabihin kapag sinabing cash ibig sabihin si business ay bumili ng delivery motorcycle in cash ibig sabihin hindi utang ibig sabihin binayaran agad na nagkakahalaga ng 250,000 pesos. So, ano yung debit natin dito? So, si business nakatanggap siya ng delivery motorcycle, which is an asset. Delivery motorcycle is an asset. So, debit tayo ng asset delivery motorcycle. I mean, delivery equipment. That's the right title for that. Delivery equipment, uh, 250,000 pesos. So, ano yung naging kapalit? Nang tanggapin ni business yung delivery equipment, si business ay naglabas ng pera na nagkakahalaga ng 250,000 pesos kasi hindi niya inutang. Binayaran niya kaagad yung delivery motorcycle. So, Nang natanggap ni business yung equipment na 250,000, naglabas din siya ng uh, cash na ito yung de credit natin. Ang cash is also an asset. So, credit tayo ng cash, 250,000.
So this is our entry for our example number one. So let's have our example number two. So purchased laundry supplies on credit 40,000 pesos. So anong ibig sabihin? Si business bumili ng laundry supplies which is an asset. Laundry supplies is an asset. On credit. Anong ibig sabihin ng on credit? On credit meaning hindi cash. Meaning utang. So, utang. 40,000 pesos. Ano, ang, ano ba ang tamang account title in accounting terms kapag sinabing utang? Ang tawag natin dyan, accounts payable. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button. I will discuss uh, more important accounting terms later upang mas ma-familiarize ninyo. Kasi ito yung pinakasekreto kapag nag-analyze uh, ng business transactions. Kadalasan problema ng mga estudyante, hindi alam kung ano yung account title na dapat gamitin. So, kapag sinabing on credit, utang yon accounts payable. So, inutang ni business yung laundry supply, supplies na nagkakahalaga ng 40,000 pesos. So, yung natanggap ni business or yung i-debit natin, ay yung laundry supplies na nagkakahalaga ng 40,000 pesos. So, we debit laundry supplies. As I have said, this is also an asset. 40,000 pesos. And we credit accounts payable. Dahil utang. So, accounts payable Forty thousand pesos. So that is our journal entry for the. Ito yung ating entry for our example number two. So ano bang ba nangyayari kapag kapag Merong business transaction si business. Kadalasan, nalilito tayo kung hindi natin naiintindihan kung ano yung sinusulat natin. Bakit ganito yung entry at kung ano ang nangyayari kay business during that business transaction. So, gagawa tayo ng T-account. So, balikan natin yung ating example number 1. Ilalagay natin to sa T-account upang mas maintindihan natin. So, uh, meron tayo, gagawa tayo ng T-account for delivery equipment and then meron din tayong T account for cash so for the normal balance of our debit it will be on the left hand side of our T account so ito yung ating T account Ang, ating, ang normal balance ng debit is always on this side here. And then, for the credit, on the right hand side. Dito yung credit. So, dito yung debit, dito yung credit. So, sa ating example number 1, nakatanggap, we debit delivery equipment 250,000. So, sa ating T account na delivery equipment, maglalagay tayo ng 250,000 dito sa normal balance. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong 250,000 pesos na delivery equipment. At ito yung kanyang halaga. So, we credit asset on our example. So, credit is on the right hand side of the T-account. So, yung cash natin, magkakaroon ng 250,000 pesos sa credit credit side so halimbawa meron tayo ditong um, 500,000 pesos so halimbawa yeah, so ito nilagyan ko na halimbawa si business ay meron ding 500,000 in cash on the debit side ibig sabihin meron siyang 500,000 na pera si business 
And then dahil bumili siya ng delivery equipment, mababawasan ito ng 250,000. So, 500,000 less 250,000. So, on the debit side, merong balance na 250,000 pesos. Ibig sabihin, meron pang natirang 250,000 pesos na pera si business. Kahit bumili siya ng deliver equipment na 250,000 pesos. So, in our example number 2. So, meron tayong balance na meron tayong laundry supplies account and accounts payable T account. So, meron tayong balance na 40,000 pesos. On the debit side of the laundry supplies, total 40,000 pesos yung ating laundry supplies. And then sa accounts payable, dahil nag-credit tayo ng accounts payable, maglalagay din, maglalagay din tayo ng 40,000 pesos sa credit side ng ating T-account accounts payable. And then total is 40,000 pesos. Ibig sabihin... Yung total na utang natin is 40,000 pesos. Yes, so I hope meron kayong natutunan sa video na ito. So please uh, drop your comment below. So I will be encouraged to upload more about basic accounting kapag um, nagustuhan ninyo ang, ang aking pamamaraan ng pag-discuss. Thank you so much and have a good day.